I'm going to do these subtractions by regrouping. So what we're essentially doing here is we're going to break up 2 and 2 sevenths, okay, into a 2 and 2 sevenths. And this 1 over here, another whole number, and this 1 third comes over here. So now we have, we're dealing with the whole number separately, and we're dealing with the fractions separately. Okay, so in order to solve this, the best thing to do is to do the fractions uh, first now. So let's uh, get a denominator. So a common denominator is going to be 21, 7 times 3. Okay, so this is how we do that, 7 times 3. Okay. Next, we're going to get some numerators. So 3 times 2, drop that down, that's a 6. 7 times 1, drop that down. It's a 7, and we're minusing. Now, when we see this scenario, we know we have to do a borrow. So 6 minus 7 can't happen. Okay, so this 2 sevenths is too small. So we have to borrow a whole from the 2. Okay, so that becomes a 1. Now, we're dealing with, uh, we're dealing with 21s at the moment. That's the, um, that's the denominator. So 1... That we're borrowing from here is worth 21 over 21, right? It's worth 21 21. So we're going to add 21 to 6. So now that's 27. And now we can do the equation. 27 minus 7 is 20. And it's 20 over 21. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is all you need. So the final answer is 20 21. Over here, same sort of scenario, we're going to split away the whole number, so 5 over here minus 1, that's this one, and then we're going to deal with the fractions over here, so 2 thirds minus 8 elevenths, so we're going to deal with 33, so 3 times 11 is 33, so that'll become our denominator, 11 times 2 is 22, uh, minus 3 times 8 is 24, okay, same situation, um, this fraction is smaller than this fraction, so we need to grab a whole from this whole number. Okay, so that becomes a 4. We're dealing with 33s, so we're going to, and so a whole is now 33, 33 over 33. So we're going to add 33 here to the 22. So now this becomes 55. And now it's 55 minus 24. So 55 minus 24, we can do that quite easily, it's 31. So the answer is 31, 33. So that's dealt with that. And now we do 4 minus 1. These are dealing with the whole numbers now. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So the final answer is going to include these two elements. And the final answer is 3 and 31 over 33.